What's up, YouTubists? So, uh, this is just a quick video. I just wanted to uh, show you the equipment that you're going to see me play in every video. So, I can get this out of the way because uh, I know um, that most low brass players tend to be kind of like, you know, pardon the language, but equipment sluts. So, uh, they always want to know what you're playing on and. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit of a collector, but I don't switch equipment very often. Um, once I've found a mouthpiece or an instrument, I stick with it. Um, but I have lots of equipment. Some would say I have too much, but that's just a collection. I don't really use a lot of it most of the time. But anyway, so here's what I play on in the videos. You're going to see me play uh, in pretty much every video that I'm playing. You'll see this tuba and this mouthpiece. Um, so the mouthpiece is a... Marcinkuix, what is it called? Concert Hall, uh, Proline Concert Hall H2. Uh, it's basically a, um, the cup shape is a Con Helleberg, and then it's got these sort of fancy ridges on the outside. If it focuses, kind of, you can see that there's some little ridges on the outside, and then it cuts in in various places. Uh, they claim it's to uh, sort of manipulate the overtones. Um, I don't know if there's any truth to that. I, I don't really care, but it it feels good. It sounds good, so I just I keep the mouthpiece, and I I don't know if uh, if all this nonsense on the outside makes a difference. But uh, anyway, and then um, my tuba that you'll see is a uh, Jupiter XO 1284L. It's the lacquered version. Uh, it's a five quarter orchestral C tuba with five valves and the fifth valve is a flat whole step. Uh, so if you're looking at my fingers, if you can see my hand while I'm playing, that might help explain some of the fingerings that I use. The fifth valve is a flat whole step. So I know there's, there's a couple options out there for the fifth valve on C-tubas. Uh, so if you're wondering why I'm using a particular combination, it's because that valve is a flat whole step. Uh, anyway, so I'll just uh, move the camera over, come with me for a walk, and we will show you this tuba. Okay. Whoop. That's my tuba. Obviously, it's standing on its bell right now, but uh, so I have some custom things done to this horn. Um, I have custom valve buttons. These are uh, lightweight aluminum um, machined valve buttons by a fellow named Joe Selmansberger. I believe his name was Joe. <laughs> Joe, if you're watching this, I'm sorry if your name isn't Joe. But anyway, uh, Joe Selmansberger, and I believe he's in like Tennessee or something. Anyway, I had him make those up and uh, mail those to me. Uh, and they really, um, I think they make a difference. Um, I don't know if it's uh, that noticeable, but I think it makes a difference. The other thing that I've done is because I'm a repair tech, um, I've hand lapped my slides so they're nice and fast and so if you see this string on here that is to stop the slide from coming all the way out when I'm pulling it quickly that's it's just a shoelace it's super simple I could get much more complicated with that mechanism if I felt like it but um, then it gets a little complicated to get the, the uh, slide out to empty the water out of it so I don't bother um, it's it's nice and simple this way Anyway, so that's my horn. It's the, uh, like I said, the Jupiter XO. I hope you can see that there. So that's the equipment you'll see in uh, pretty much every video that I record that's tuba related. If I do some trombone videos, uh, then I'll run you through that equipment. But for the time being, I'm not going to bother. Um, I have about, well, at last count, I think I have 10 trombones. Uh, and I'm not going to run you through all of them. Um, they are kind of all different. I think I have I have a soprano trombone, I have a bass trumpet, you know, there's, there's things in the trombone family that aren't true trombones, but uh, um, I really use about three of them regularly. Uh, the other seven are just a collection. Um, if you have questions about this equipment, or you want me to do um, like reviews of equipment, if you want, uh, I, this isn't really intended to be a review channel, but if you, if you want me to review something, um, then put it in the comments. Um, I have access to a lot of equipment. I repair instruments for a retail music store. Um, so I might even be able to get the instrument and review it. Um, or if it's something that you are um, 
a manufacturer, like if you're watching this as a representative of a manufacturer or something, and you want me to review gear, then send me a message and I'll send you an address that you can send equipment to me. Like I say, this isn't really intended to be a review channel, but if, if that's what you want, then I'll do it. Um, so just let me know. Uh, any questions, comments, complaints, concerns, please put that in the box below. And uh, like the video, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.